All right, if you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel, and you should be, uh, you know that sometimes we like to throw up videos that I've never seen before and have me react to them. And a while back, we did this with the promo to Rings of Power, a trailer for Rings of Power, the sequel to Lord of the Rings, which hadn't come out yet. And the idea was that it was so woke that I was going to kind of make fun of it. And we played it, and I looked at it, and I said, why is that woke? I didn't get it. I just said it looks pretty good. I mean, the special effects look fantastic. Uh, I haven't seen it yet because I'm watching the other one, the prequel to Game of Thrones. Um, and somebody said, well, because the elves are black. And I laughed, and I said, well, they're elves, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's a race of people that doesn't exist. They can be whatever color they want to make them. And that is basically has been my reaction to what is called colorblind casting. My feeling about colorblind casting is very specific. It is that in watching a movie, reading a book, whatever it is, you are being asked to imagine something and bring it to life and help the, the artist bring it to life. If the colorblind casting gets in the way of that project, then you shouldn't do it. If it is no problem at all, then go ahead and do it. And I think that that's basically my feeling about it. In Ashland, Oregon, there's a yearly uh, Shakespeare festival, which I used to love going to, and then finally went and there was a production of some Jane Austen novel uh, where like all the women were dwarves and the guys were all black and everything was something different. I thought, you know, this is actually making it more difficult for me to imagine myself into this because that's not what these people look like in the novel. And so I never went back to Oregon. That was my reaction to that. So now the reason I mention all this is because this has become an issue with the new live action Little Mermaid in which the Little Mermaid is black. Uh, Matt Walsh, who, as you all know, is a theocratic fascist uh, and a terrible, terrible, evil person, not in real life, but that's what they say about him, you know, has said that they should make her uh, translucent since uh, <laughs> that's what mermaids, that's what fish look like. And people are all upset that anyone would complain about this. Always the left says, why do you care so much when they're trying to explode uh, civilization? Uh, but doing it in a way that they think no one will notice they're doing it. So let's take a look. I haven't seen this. Let's take a look at the live-action Little Mermaid trailer, and then I will tell you my reaction. Well, first of all, I don't know who that is, but she is absolutely beautiful and obviously has a lovely, lovely voice. And that's all, also one of the things about colorblind casting is it widens the scope of your talent pool and it means that you can bring people in. So here's the thing. No one, I don't think, really, in all real life is complaining that you make the Little Mermaid black. There are no mermaids. They can be whatever color you want them to be. Nobody is complaining about that. What people are complaining about is that they know the ratchet only turns one way. And that's what they're complaining about, and that's what the issue is, that nobody is going to make Black Panther white, and nobody is going to say that this black character can now be white. When a, a, an actress tries to play a deaf character, uh, they say, well, you're not really deaf, so you can't do that. Why can you do that? And then they, when you say, well, you know, I have a problem with your taking this, uh, you know, classic Disney character, and that original animated Little Mermaid is a terrific movie. We don't want you to change what that character looks like. People immediately say, well, why do you care? Are you a bigot? You know, what's the problem? And so they, it only moves one way. And that's what people are complaining about. And that is something very different than complaining about this obviously beautiful, talented lady getting a, a good part. We all are happy that she's got a good part. She obviously has the chops to do what they're asking her to do. And so nobody is complaining about that. We're complaining about a system uh, that basically says that, you know, any character can become 
a woman, any, any male character can become a female. If it's Ghostbusters, any white character can become black, but it doesn't work the other way around. And yeah, I, I get it. And I'm, I'm happy for the talent pool to open up and include, obviously, this vast uh, amount of great uh, black talent. Uh, I, I'm absolutely fine with that. But there is a serious issue, a real issue, and it's fair to talk about it. A lot of people say, well, why, you know, why do we have to talk about the Little Mermaid and and the culture? Uh, Certainly there are important things going on. All true, but the culture is also important, and the culture is being messed with by people with a very small mind, very small philosophy, a very mean, bigoted, racist, anti-female philosophy uh, that I despise, and I hate to see it come on board. So, for instance, I've talked about the fact that for a while on Netflix, until they realized people were going to stop watching, it was going to cost them money, but for a while, there was no such thing as a marriage between two white people. There were no no white person married any other white person. There were black people giving parts that you just thought, nah, that character would actually be white. You know, there's a character who looks like she's a daughter of the revolution. Uh, She would probably be a white person. But no, it had to be played by, you know, a black actress or something like this. And you started to feel like, hey, you know, I'm being lectured to by people who can't keep their marriages together, can't keep their kids out of rehab. They're the ugliest, meanest, smallest, greediest, most capitalist uh, people on earth. I'm talking about people in Hollywood. These are the people who let Harvey Weinstein get away with what he got away with. And now they're going to lecture me about what I should be thinking and what I, how I should be feeling about race or any other subject or any political subject. It's just an extension of their Oscar speeches, and it's disgusting and annoying, okay? And that's what we're fighting about, and that's what we're arguing arguing about. And that is a real problem that we have in our society and in our culture. We have a culture in which, for instance, if you say, you know what, that female uh, Ghostbusters movie stank. They said, well, you're a sexist. You're a sexist. You, yeah, that's why you think that. Because the internet is afraid of women who ain't afraid of no ghosts. We actually have elites working in offices at the New York Times telling ordinary people who just want to go to the movies and have a good time that if you don't like this movie, there's something wrong with you. I thought Black Panther was pablum. I thought it was a nonsense. But I think most of these superhero movies are, well, you're a racist because you didn't like Black Panther. You know, this is, this is the elite elite people telling ordinary people who just want to go to the movies and be entertained that they're bad people for not liking their crap entertainment, preaching their crap values out of their crap lives. And that's the problem that we have. Certainly, I would never want to get in the way of, if that woman walked in and and auditioned for The Little Mermaid, I would cast her. So, Obviously, it's not one issue, and it never is one issue, and that's the problem. We're always fighting over one issue and getting called out for it, Uh, but there is a problem, and that is that the smallest, meanest, nastiest people in the country, and by that I mean left-wing people, are preaching to us through the movies, and they ought to stop. Claveny goodness at its goodest, and if you want more, like and subscribe, and subscribe to the Andrew Claven Podcast.